episode 520 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I will be talking about tonight's episodes of Impact Wrestling on Access TV, the go-home show before this Saturday night's Bound for Glory pay-per-view. Also, this week's episode of Ring of Honor Wrestling on Honor Club. All that right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hey, Wrestling Fanatics. Welcome to 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I am Lance Brock. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in on this Thursday night on this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Got two shows to talk about tonight on this Thursday. Impact Wrestling on Access TV, which was the go-home show before this Saturday night's Bound for Glory pay-per-view. And also Ring of Honor Wrestling on Honor Club this week. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Impact Wrestling tonight on Access TV. Taped in Memphis at Graceland Live. This is the last show from those tapings that will air on Access TV. Our commentators tonight, Tom Hannafin and Matthew Raywalt. And actually things got kicked off a half hour before. On Before the Impact, there was a really good match on this week's episode between... Killer Kelly and Kylene King. And Kylene King gets the win. Faking an injury out on the floor. And getting the win. I definitely recommend checking this match out if you have not seen it. You can watch Before the Impact on Impact Wrestling's YouTube channel, also on Impact Plus. Definitely, I thought this one was a really good match, and definitely recommend this one. And now, on to this week's episode of Or Jody Threat, she defeated, I'm sorry, Kylie King defeated Jody Threat. And we kick things off on Impact Wrestling this week with maybe match of the night. Speedball Mike Bailey taking on Samurai Del Sol. This match was awesome. These two were great. And I definitely recommend, if you did not see this match on Impact tonight, definitely try to find this match. And it was awesome. These two guys put it all out in the ring. And Speedball Mike Bailey getting the win over Samurai Del Sol. I will give this one 4 out of 5 suplexes. Great match to start off this week's. Episode of Impact Wrestling. And. We have. Kenny King. With Sheldon Jean in his corner. Taking on Heath. Kenny King getting the win in this one. And. 
no disqualification match next. Crazy Steve taking on Black Tarus, former partners in Decay. And now we have seen this new side of Crazy Steve turning his back on Black Tarus, turning his back on Tommy Dreamer, on all the Impact fans. And these two have a no DQ match. Crazy Steve getting the win, defeating Black Taurus. And Crazy Steve still has possession of the Feast or Fire briefcase for a shot at the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Championship. And... He sent, after the match, he sent a message to the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Champion, Tommy Dreamer. And next up, we have Rhino and PCO teaming up to take on the most professional wrestling gods, Moose and Brian Myers. And these two have a really good match. Moose and Brian Myers get the win, though. Defeating Rhino and PCO when Moose hit PCO with a spear to get the pin. And we see the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Killer Kelly and Masha Slamovich, MK Ultra. And we get a video from Will Ospreay, who will be taking on Speedball Mike Bailey this Saturday at Bound for Glory. And let me just say this now that match could definitely steal the show this Saturday night at BFG. Will Ospreay and Speedball Mike Bailey, that match could be worth the price of the pay-per-view alone. So that is, that's one reason right there to order order Bound for Glory. Speedball Mike Bailey, Will Ospreay, that is definitely a match that you do not want to miss. And next up, we see Impact Wrestling President Scott Moore moderate a sit-down interview with Impact World Champion Alex Shelley and the walking weapon Josh Alexander, which becomes heated real fast, and Alex Shelley ends up attacking Josh Alexander in the room that he was And in tonight's main event, we have Knockouts Tag Team Action, the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion Trinity, and the Knockout who will be challenging her this Saturday at Bound for Glory, Mickey James. She's back, and tonight they take on the quintessential diva Giselle Shaw and Savannah Evans in the main event of Impact Wrestling. And Mickey James pins Savannah Evans with the Mick DT to score the win for her team. And then after the match, Trinity and James celebrate in the ring, both holding on to the Knockouts Championship. And they will go one on one for that Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship. This Saturday night at Bound for Glory. So that was tonight's episode of Impact Wrestling this week. I thought it was a pretty good show this week. Good go home show to get ready for Bound for Glory this Saturday night. So overall, I'll probably give it 8 out of 10 ring bells overall. And let me just say, if... You're not watching Impact Wrestling each week. 
you're definitely missing out. It's it's one of the shows that definitely does not get the most attention in the pro wrestling world, but it is definitely worth watching. I definitely recommend checking it out. If you don't have access to TV, you can watch it on YouTube by becoming an ultimate insider on Impact Wrestling's YouTube channel. Definitely recommend checking out the show somehow, though. And now, from Impact Wrestling, we go over to Honor Club to talk about this week's episode of ROH TV on Honor Club this week, which some of the matches on the show tonight were taped in Toledo, Ohio, and the other matches, honestly, I don't remember where, sorry about that, but our commentators for tonight, Ian Riccoboni and Caprice Coleman, and we kick things off with the number one contender for the Ring of Honor World Championship to take on Eddie Kingston and Helico defeated Gravity in the opening match. And let me just say, this one was a really good match. And this is one that I definitely recommend checking out if you have not seen this week's episode of Ring of Honor. And Sean Dean with Trisha Dora in his corner representing the infantry defeated pre sorry, pretty Peter Avalon with the Hollywood hunk Ryan Namath in his corner. Mercedes Martinez with Diamante defeated Marty Bell. Tony Nice with Smart Mark Sterling defeated All Ego Ethan Page. And Billy Starks, the minion in training with Athena, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, defeated Diamante with Mercedes Martinez. And then chairs involved. And in the end, though, it is Athena and Billy Starks standing tall in the ring. Big, I, I say this every week, but big fan of Billy Starks and Athena. This angle they have going on now with Billy Starks and being the minion in training. Very entertaining. Definitely a good reason to watch Ring of Honor each week. Also, we have Josh the Goods Woods with Smart Mark Sterling. Defeated Pat Buck in a pure wrestling rules match. Which I was definitely surprised to see Pat Buck in action on Ring of Honor this week. And like Ian Riccoboni said, this was his first pure wrestling match in Ring of Honor. And it was a good match. And it was Josh Woods getting the win. This match came from last week where Pat Buck offered to kind of train and coach Josh Woods. And Kira Hogan defeated AK-47, Allison K, The Righteous, defeated Kevin Matthews and Rob Gordon. Lady Frost defeated Zoe Lynn. The Gates of Agony defeated the Workhorsemen. And Darius Martin in action and Dreddy in a three-way match. And that was... This week's episode of Ring of Honor on Honor Club. Just like Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor this week had some pretty solid wrestling on the show. I definitely recommend that you check out Angelico and Gravity this week. And definitely recommend checking out Honor Club. So not only can you watch 
ROH TV every week, but also go back, watch past Ring of Honor TV shows, pay-per-views, collections of matches featuring guys like AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, or Kevin Steen at the time. And they keep adding stuff. That's a good thing is they keep adding classic Ring of Honor matches to the library. I have Honor Cub and let me just say I am definitely satisfied with it. And I'm sure any fan of pro wrestling will be. So if you can, I would definitely recommend subscribing to Honor Club. And also, like I said earlier, Impact Wrestling was also a very good show this week. And I definitely recommend checking that out as well. And before I wrap up this podcast... Remember this Saturday night... Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory. I do plan on going live just like I usually do on the pay per view slash premium live event nights. But this Saturday night, have six hours of pro wrestling to watch with Impact's Bound for Glory pay per view. AEW Saturday Collision, and also AEW Battle of the Belts 8 as well. So, as soon as I watch Bound for Glory, watch Collision, Battle of the Belts, I will go live with 360 Wrestling Fanatic to talk about all three shows. And that is coming up. This Saturday night. So stay tuned. And tomorrow night. Hope to be back. With 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Talking Smackdown and Rampage. As usual on a Friday night. First though. I will be back tomorrow morning. For the Friday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. And remember. If you have any questions or comments. Or you can give your feedback on tonight's episodes of Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor. If you saw them, well, you should have. But also leave your predictions for this Saturday's Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory pay-per-view. And that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Also remember, that reminds me, the... Newest episode of 360 Anything Goes, episode 11, is now available. I did another Anything Goes episode of Anything Goes, just talking anything. And some of the things talked about was the unfortunate passing of Suzanne Summers and some other TV shows, talked a little Chucky in there. And that is now available, so if you have it, heard that yet maybe you can go listen to it if you don't mind and that's available now right here on Spreaker or wherever you else you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast thank you very much for tuning in tonight and until tomorrow morning for Good Morning Wrestling fans I am Lance and I am a wrestling fanatic <laughs>